Hello, boys and girls around the world. My name is Mrs. B, and I'm a teacher in the United States. I'm so glad that you're able to join me today for a very, very special read aloud, boys and girls. But before we begin, I have a hello song just for you. Hello, boys and girls around the world. Hello, boys and girls around the world. How are you? How are you? I'm glad you're here to learn and read. We know we'll have some fun today. We love school every day. And so will you. I know you don't have to say it. Mrs. B has a bad voice, but I just wanted to sing just for you. Boys and girls, the book that I've selected for today's read aloud is very popular. If you give a mouse a cookie. And boys and girls, you might have read this book before. Very popular around the world. And this is a very special edition because it's celebrating 25 years of giving happiness to all the boys and girls around the world. The person that wrote this book is called Laura Numeroff. She is the author. And the person that drew the pictures in this book is called an illustrator. And that person is Felicia Bond. Boys and girls, this is called the front of the book or the cover. And if we turn it around, this is the back of the book. Now let's flip it back to the front. Boys and girls, if you look at the title and the illustration, what do you think that this story is going to be about? Yes, a mouse and some cookies. And boys and girls, when you read the text, the words in the story, the pictures match what the words are saying so you can get a clear picture of what's going on. Before we get begin, Mrs. B has some punctuation marks that you're going to see in this story or other storybooks that you read. The first one is called a period. It means to stop, but Mrs. B says to pause before you read to the next sentence. Because some boys girls stop and they don't know when to continue again. The next punctuation mark is called a comma. It does mean to pause. It brings two or more thoughts together or you use a comma when you're making a list. The next mark is called a question mark. It's when you're asking something in a sentence and you need to have the answer. It's because you don't know is why you're asking it. The next mark is quotation marks. We have beginning and ending quotation marks. When somebody starts talking, you use the beginning quotation marks. When they stop talking, you use the end quotation marks. And the last mark that I want to go over with you, there are some others, but these are the most important ones that you'll see right now. And it's an exclamation mark, or at your age, we call it an excited mark. And this shows great emotion at the end of the sentence. And also, it's used for a command like sit down. 
Boys and girls, I want you to pay very close attention to this story because I have questions to ask you while Mrs. B, B is reading to you. Also, I have some activities to do with you at the very end of the story. So pay very close attention. Let's see. One, two, three. Eyes on me. If you give a mouse a cookie. If you give a mouse a cookie, what will happen, boys and girls? Here is the mouse. Here is the little boy holding a cookie. Boys and girls, who likes cookies? Me. And what type of cookie do you like? I like chocolate chip. My Chips Ahoy cookies are my favorite. And boys and girls, when Mrs. B reads, does she read left to right or right to left? I read left to right. Good job, boys and girls. Oh, boys and girls, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, let's make a prediction. What do you think he's going to ask for next? He first has a cookie. Now the boy is getting him a glass of milk. What do you think he's going to ask for next? Let's make a prediction. That means we were going to guess what's going to happen next based on what Mrs. B is reading to you. Let's find out. He'll probably ask you for a straw. And then after a straw, when he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin to wipe his mouth. So here we are getting the what? He's getting a straw for him. And he looks like he's all full from a glass of milk. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. Let's see, boys and girls, what is this punctuation mark? It's called a period. You are paying attention. And what about this mark right here? A comma. Good job, boys and girls. When he's finished giving himself a trim, He'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. He might get carried away and sweep every single room in the house. And look at him. He's sweeping away. He may even end up washing the floors as well. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. Look at all those water bubbles around. And this is the mop that he's cleaning. And now he's exhausted. He's on top of the cleaning bottle.
you'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. He'll probably ask you to read him a story. Wow, all of that? So you'll read to him from one of your books, and he'll ask to see the pictures. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw one of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons, boys and girls. What a different mouse. He'll draw a picture. Boys and girls, I want you to look at the crayons that he is using for his drawing. What color is this crayon right here, boys and girls? Green. And what color is this crayon? Brown. And what color is this crayon? Orange. What color is this crayon? Gray. What color is this crayon? Yellow. And finally, what color is this crayon? Blue. Thumbs up. Bravo. When the picture is finished, He'll want to sign his name. He is a very happy mouse. Look at the picture he drew. Wow, that's amazing. That's his family. And there he is in the picture. With a pen, of course, then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need, what do you think he'll need next, boys and girls? He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. But before he hangs it up, what does he need? Mm. Scotch tape is right. And looking at the refrigerator will remind him that, oh no, what's next? He's thirsty again, so <laughs> look at the boy. He's exhausted after all running around for that little mouse. He'll ask for a glass of milk, and chances are if he asks for a glass of of milk, what will he ask for next? He's going to want a cookie to go with it. And here are the little crumbs. <laughs> the end, boys and girls. Now, I want to ask you, what did you think about this book? If you give a mouse a cookie, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you did not like this book, give it a thumbs down. 
Yes, I gave it a thumbs up. I really, really, truly like this book. For many years, I've been reading it to a lot of boys and girls. Now, let's see if you were paying attention. Boys and girls, if I say something, I want you to tell me what the mouse is going to ask for next. This is called sequence of events. What happened first? What happened second? What happened third? And so on and so on in order. A cookie. What did the mouse ask for next? He'll want a glass of milk. I gave you a glass of milk. What will you ask for next? He'll ask for a straw. I gave you a straw. straw. What are you going to ask for next? A napkin. Now I gave you a napkin. What are you going to ask for next? He'll want to look in the mirror. Now you're looking in the mirror and he'll notice what? Hmm. He'll notice his hair needs a trim. So what will he need for a trim? Nail scissors. And I give you the nail scissors and what will he do? Boys and girls, he'll trim his hair. Good job, boys and girls. Next, these are some of the pictures and words that were used in the book. And can you tell me what this is? Yes, it's a bed. Boys and girls, what is this? You use it to wipe your mouth after eating or during eating. A napkin. And my personal favorite. Yes, a cookie. Yummy, yummy in the tummy. And then we have, what are these? Scissors. Good job, boys and girls. And what is this? To sip, sip, sip out of a cup. A straw. And when you want to look at yourself, hmm. Mirror. And I love to drink this every single morning. Milk. Does the body good. And the mouse used this to draw his picture and I'm sure that you use this when you draw pictures, either at home or at school. Crayons. And then to sign his name, the mouse used a pen. And then, boys and girls, when he finished his drawing, he wanted to put it on the refrigerator. What did he use? Tape. And when he was sweeping the house, what did he use? 
a broom. And what did he use to write on? Or write on? Paper. Good job, boys and girls. Lastly, Mrs. B has an activity for you to do at home with your families. And Mrs. B thought about this a long time and she came up with like a math game. So the materials you're going to need is a jar, a clear jar. You're going to need cookies and lots of cookies. You're going to need paper that you can cut out or like an index card and that you can cut out into squares. Scissors, of course, to cut, and a black marker to write numbers on. So boys and girls, inside the jar, I want you to fill it to the top with cookies. Then on paper, I want you to cut out little squares, maybe about 10 of them. And on each one with black marker, I want you to put on one square, the number one, the next square, number two, the next square, number three, the next square, number four, and so on until you get to 10. So on top of the lid, your parents or your brothers and sisters are going to put one of those numbers on top of the lid. And you're gonna look at it and you're gonna say a four. So open up the lid, go into the cookie jar and get out four cookies, for example, four. And then when your parents say yes, you can count them out together that you have four, you can put them all back in and then they'll give you a new number and you can start all over again so you can practice your counting skills with numbers. Boys and girls, how cool is that? Boys and girls, I have one last treat for you. I have a special guest in my home office and my classroom in my house. Let's see who has traveled far to join us. It's Garfield! Hey Garfield, how are you today? Thanks for joining all the boys and girls around the world and Mrs. B. Is there anything that you would like to say to them? Oh. oh okay. He would like to join me in saying goodbye to all of you. Thanks so much boys and girls again. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.